what is up guys I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna jump right into this video peep this check this out Ooh, that fucking carbon done carbon fiber carbon fiber Ooh. this is my new carbon fiber steering wheel for the TT it's got some weight to it it's not super light it's pretty much everything's custom made to it <laughs> It looks completely different to the other wheel. Yeah, so uh, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump into the car real quick. And we're right in the car. First thing that I'm gonna do, again, I made a video on this a while back. There is two uh, T27 Torx screws here. One on each side. I got my little tool right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's just one connector here. I'm not too sure how well you guys can see this. I'll pry both ends off. And just like that, steering wheels out. You guys can see here where the airbag connects to this. Just making sure that the steering wheel is centered. So now I'm gonna be using an M12 triple square bit. Okay, so this is the huge bolt that's in there. <laughs> like as thick as my thumb. <laughs> all right. And right here's the clock spring. I don't want to move that at all. Same wheel is out just like that. So here you guys can see that I am installing the two screws that go on the steering wheel. The new steering wheel that I got, they didn't come with these screws. So I had to basically press them out of the old wheel and put them into the new wheel. It wasn't that hard. It was pretty easy. It just uh, was a little time consuming because I had never done it before. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Here I had to use a ratchet because I didn't really want to strip the bolts. It would have been terrible if I would have stripped it with the impact and then there's no way of me taking off the steering wheel in the future, trying to swap it out for something else. It's not going anywhere. I am gonna connect this airbag just like that. And this should just slide into place. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting excited. <laughs> okay. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Sheesh! This thing looks freaking crazy, man. Looks like I'm actually driving a fucking race car. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this thing. I think it looks freaking sick. Here's a little comparison. Here's the before. So I have the S-Line steering wheel. And then here's the after. <laughs> I mean, there's no comparison, man. This freaking carbon fiber is sick. We'll see the size difference. So the OEM steering wheel is a little thicker, well, well, bigger in terms of diameter. So this wheel is definitely a little smaller, but I like it. It's super nice. That's why I got rid of my DND steering wheel. I didn't like it. <laughs> but now this shit, I mean, this is freaking sick, man. Now I just gotta go get my, my car aligned, man, because I can start driving this thing. Yeah, steering wheel looks amazing right now. I'm in traffic currently. 
Uh, I'm just gonna do a little pull. Uh, alignment is all messed up. <laughs> Literally, the wheel's like this. But uh, hopefully I get this fixed this weekend. He's pretty excited too. So for any of you guys that watched my previous video on uh, installing the bushings for the control arms, they work phenomenal, not gonna lie. Everything on the car works as it should. It feels a lot stiffer, but it feels good. Like it's not uh, unbearable. Definitely recommend them. Yesterday I went out for a little run, even though my steering wheel looks like this, but it was handling quite good. Um, steering response is insane feels even better than before like I don't know how well you guys can tell on camera but if I move like this like, see how responsive that is so yeah <laughs> shit works really well another one of my favorite things about this wheel is that you literally have full vision of your cluster sitting around here and I can perfectly see the cluster everything that's going on like in between here that's something that I didn't get with the other wheel <laughs> and uh yeah i had to look for something else and it goes good with my little shift knob the mishimoto one hey oh yeah also another detail that i absolutely love is that this little edge right here it's not protruding it's not too deep or anything it's perfectly aligned with the oem airbag slash horn and it looks amazing like just look at that fitment sorry about the light like not the biggest fan of the color stitching but that's fine it could be dyed or painted it's not terrible i also was a little not too skeptical about the perforated leather but it is what it is it's I mean, it's looking fine it, it looks good <laughs> and it feels good so that's all that matters this right here in the summertime though it's gonna burn my hands oh well <laughs> uh, but I mean, just look at that like, look at that detail it's that carbon fiber hey you're getting in the way okay let's go let me know what you guys think go ahead and follow me on instagram as well as always i'll leave it right here on the screen go ahead and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video um, this upcoming year is going to be insane for the tt i'm pretty sure I have a lot of plans even though you know we're in a, in a bad time right now so yeah go ahead and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys next time